Hello, my epic peeps, my public figures, my mentor, my educators, my public speakers, those people I coach, the entrepreneur, the solopreneur, the mompreneur, the epicpreneur, whatever you want to call yourself. I'm Carrie Millspaw, business and lifestyle coach, and I'm going to share with you the three must have online marketing building blocks that you need to have in order to look like a true business for people to take you seriously. Now, 80 to 90% of viewers are viewing you from their telephone, from their smartphone. Good grief, I just dated myself self by saying telephone. They're looking at their smartphone, and if they don't see a good quality graphic or they don't see that you have a website or a presence online of any sort, they're not gonna take you seriously and they're gonna think you're just doing this as a hobby. When you take your business seriously, it treats you really well in return, okay? so. Building block number one that you must have to be taken seriously as a true business owner, as a public figure online, you must have quality photographs. You must have quality photographs. No selfies, guys. We love to share our selfies and Instagram has beautiful filters and we can make ourselves look very airbrushed, but it's still not the good quality high resolution that a graphic designer needs to build your brand, okay? So by doing a good quality photo shoot, think of uh, maybe doing one in a studio, anywhere that you can get really good quality lighting, okay? If you've got a really good photographer, they know what they need outdoors to make you also have really great lighting. Great lighting is everything, okay? And good quality, high resolution photographs will save your graphic designer tons of time, okay? And you'll always look like a rock star online, okay? So no excuses. You can find a photographer for next to nothing. Uh, you can even get a student out of college that needs to just kind of get someone to give them a chance to build up their portfolio or do like a trade for shoot. I lucked out in this area. I had done lots of trade for shoot. I'd done lots of, um, you know, paid for modeling. So I had a handful of pictures to pick from. I'd even done some for professional for my current role in the corporate world at the time. So. I snagged some of those photos right away just to get started on my branding when I first started my business online five years ago. So photographs, no excuses guys, go get some really good pictures of yourself. This is not the time to be shy. Most likely your face is your brand, it's your logo. People remember you more than what you're selling. They remember the, how you make them feel, your presence, who you are, um, and all of that good stuff. So let's show off your beautiful face and get out there and shine your light, okay? So before you do anything, get great quality photographs. Building block number two, now start to get that website. Invest in this, this is necessary. This is where you trap leads. And I guess I use the word trap. It's your net to gather people. You want your website to do three conversions, okay? This is the stuff I teach my clients. I'm giving you a snippet, little sneak peek of things I do. You want your website to convert to either a buy now button, convert to getting on your database where they subscribe, or contact you or get on your calendar, okay? So you want those three areas covered on your website. And it's got to be really solid and clear when they're looking at your website that there is a call to action in those three areas. But click to buy and work with you. Click to get on your calendar. Click to either get on a subscription, a newsletter list, free offer, whatever that looks like. You want to snag people in those three areas. If you get all three with one person, score. Okay, you want them to get on your page and stay there and, and gather their information. So, step one is photographs. Step two, the website. Step three, this is after the website, guys. This is the order I actually teach my clients, okay, when we're building out their programs, building, on, building out their online marketing. Social media platforms. <clears throat> I'm going to really be tough with you on this one, okay? Social media is huge. If you don't exist on social media, you don't exist. That's just how they look at you. The younger audience thinks if you don't have an Instagram profile, then you must not be really good at what you do because you're not bragging about it with pictures. Or, you know, you're, you're not a true business unless you have all these profiles out there. Now, I want to give you some assurance there's multiple people that will do and maintain these profiles for you. If you don't feel like sitting all day on Facebook or Instagram, YouTube, hire out that part of your business. It's super important because in all honesty, if I see that you're big on Facebook, but I look at your Twitter and you haven't posted anything in the last five years, I'm gonna think you just gave up or maybe you're not that passionate about what you do 
or you're just lazy, or are you even open for business still? It gives a very icky vibe when you go to someone's Twitter page and there hasn't been a post in two, three, four years, okay? So if you're gonna be consistent with your social media, then I give you permission to have social media. If you're not gonna be consistent with it, kill it, okay? Do one or the other. I highly suggest you hire that out if it's not your genius. If it's something you don't enjoy doing and maintaining, hire a virtual assistant or social media manager to handle this part for you, okay? Now you're gonna link up all your social media platforms to your website so that people can connect with you in multiple areas. Everyone plays where they play. Okay, you've got the people that love Twitter, you've got the people that love Instagram, you've got the people that love LinkedIn, they love Facebook. You wanna be able to be everywhere to grab those types of people. There are YouTubers out there that are obsessed with just YouTube. They don't know what you posted on Facebook because they're not playing in that sandbox. Does that make sense? So you want to be in YouTube land where they can see you. But if you don't have a presence out there, again, you're missing that huge audience of YouTubers, those, those beautiful geeks that are learning from people all day long on YouTube land, okay? So I want you to have all of those platforms in place. I recommend the basic five, which is Facebook, personal page, Facebook business page, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn, and YouTube. So that's really six, but Facebook's really one, okay? Let's just be honest here. Facebook, personal, and business are connected together and we've got Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Instagram, okay? Those are the basics you want to have presence on. Start today. You're not gonna have 5,000 followers right away if you're brand new to this. You're not gonna have a ton of content yet, but you will if you're consistent, okay? So be persistent and consistent and stay with this. Now, the reason why these three building blocks are so important is because people are shopping you all day long. They want visibility, they want credibility. They want to see if you are who you say you are. If a friend referred them to you and they Google your name and they see nothing online about you, or what they do find looks like something you, you know, just created as a teenager somewhere, or your teenager set it up for you, they're not going to take you very seriously. It goes back again, treat your business seriously and it will kindly treat you in return very seriously. Okay? So those are the three building blocks. Get quality photos. I cannot stress that enough. Well, I get asked to speak all the time on podcast summits, um, workshops, live events. And if I go to the person's page that's asking me to be an expert on their interview series and their picture is a quick selfie by the kitchen sink, it doesn't come across as a professional business. You know, I want to work with people that have taken their business as seriously as I have. I'm very careful with who I work with as a joint venture partner. So that's super important to me. Quality photos, take yourself seriously. If you're a business professional, you should look like one. Don't you agree? So again, pictures, photos, quality photography. Your graphic designer is gonna wanna create graphics for your website and social media to match, so be consistent with all of your branding. Your website, your social media, everything should be similar pictures, similar patterns, similar designs, similar colors. And they can't work with a grainy, low-pixeled, selfie from your phone okay I'm just speaking from experience here they need that high quality resolution photograph to create a good graphic for you good logo whatever that looks like okay second of course is that solid website I've got a t I've got a ton of team in place guys if you need referrals c connect with me I'll happy to throw them out there you know always get three quotes wherever you work um, if there's somebody that you want to work with with a website I always suggest getting three quotes and then work with the person that you feel is going to give you the best value it's not even a dollar amount it's the value okay so invest in this it's so worth it and then get your social media playground set up and find out which sandbox you want to play in the most if you don't want to play with them connect with Carrie she'll refer you out some social media help some virtual assistance and we'll get you running like a well-oiled machine and you will look like that profitable business that you're trying to give off the vibe to. You could be already that very profitable business, but we don't know because you you look like you just took a selfie and threw it up on Facebook, okay? So take yourself seriously, take your business even more seriously, and reach out if you have any questions or comment below this video. Big hugs, big love. Hope this was helpful to you guys.